I start your report here on what you can expect in March, I just want to bring a little announcement, and that is now there's available four different reports that you can choose from. It's the lover's report, which can see how you're affecting each other astrologically, right? A sinister chart. There is a calendar. There is a transit chart, which comes up with all the peak dates uh, pertaining to your own personal um, chart, of course. And then there is the, the year ahead, starting from the month that you order it. So these are very exciting. It's a collaboration that I'm having here now with this company and I know him as an astrologer which has been out there more than 40 years. He's super good. I ordered his reports back in 93, <laughs> right? So it's something that I know that you can become very excited about as well. But we're going to dive in for your month now for March, but watch to the end because I'll scroll through those reports so that you can see it. You can check it out for yourself and see what it is maybe that you can expect, right? So let's dive right in, Leo. <laughs> see what's coming up this month. And it is for you, whether you're a Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising, all this information here is for you. And of course, knowing that, like we always say too, listen to your moon and rising sign reading is because the aspects that we see that you have here this month um, will also show up in other areas of your chart for you and they're just as pertinent as your sun sign reading. So you'll get three readings if you listen to all of them. Um, what I see here for you this month, well, there's a lot of activity going on. A little bit of a challenge um, right there at the end of February. Of course, we had Mercury retrograde uh, and that kind of slowed things down, made a couple of speed bumps and so forth. Um, for you, that Mercury retrograde was in your relationship house. Whether that was a little bit, you know, between you and your partner, miscommunications or anybody you work with closely one on one, that could be it too. But Mercury now is picking up moving forward and bringing you some really good news just in those first few days of March when Mercury meets up with Jupiter. And that is coming to you from your partner. Maybe you might have some good news that you're going to be giving to him or her. Um, contracts is also ruled under the seventh house. So there, if there's anything contractual, I think that is something that can really come to behoove you as Jupiter always wants to be generous and expand, right? Or whatever it is that it's giving us. Um, but the conflict that you had right there, end of February, it's loosening up. That conflict um, would be between your 10th house and somebody you were working with. Maybe somebody got a promotion you didn't. Maybe they took your place in what you <laughs> thought would be your promotion. In that case, that's no fun, right? Or there could have been a delay. Well, of course, Mercury was retrograde. Could have slowed that down. Um, but Mercury is now moving forward. And I feel that if you were standing your ground or expressing yourself, let's put it that way, Leo, um, Saturn wanted you to actually express um, your expertise. You know, sometimes it's really hard to bring that out there. Uh, we don't want to toot our own horn, <laughs> all that, right? But if you are not expressing your navigation and where you're seeing yourself as leading a certain project or whatnot, if you're too kind or too sensitive and holding back, well, then others can run off with it, take advantage. Because sometimes it's those who scream the loudest that gets heard, <laughs> all right? Um, so I feel that you were up against there at the very end of uh, February, that kind of challenge. And maybe you stood your challenge, maybe you didn't. But I, I would like to say that the first week here in March, may give you a second chance for it. Uh, when Mars and Pluto comes together in a beautiful trine, that Mars, mind you, is in your career house. And that, to me, is all about you putting the engines up, you know, speeding up that dial. Uh, Mars being your primus motor, it, it is your goals right now. It's in the sign of Taurus. And you're like, I can do this. I can really do this. It's time, Leo, to trust yourself, you know, don't hide, hide your light under any kind of 
uh, shade. You want to bring it out to the world and let them see who you are. Why? Because it's going to be two years before Mars gets back into this area for you. And you don't want to waste that opportunity. It's been here for a while. You've been working at it. But it's kind of revving it up and trying to finalize something that you've been working on for a very long time. We know that Mars uh, was moving very slowly there in 2020, right? But for now, um, I would say with that Plutonian energy uh, that hit right at the end of February, take that, you know, as a surfboard and surf it all the way in and trust that the surfboard knows where it's going, right? Uh, that's going to help you a whole lot. Um, I could feel that whatever it is that you now have been uh, dynamically looking at is how can you work efficiently in your day-to-day -day routine. Some of you have moved your work into your home area, home office and so forth, and actually liking it, not having to be in traffic all the time, um, spending you know hours back and forth, and that's such a waste of time. Those of you who have been able to uh, move into a home office, I feel now that you're used to it, uh, really liking it and wanting that for the future, even after the pandemic, and that is fully possible. This is a great time for you to express that to your supervisor or the higher ups, uh, that you're liking this routine and hoping that it can continue as you move along. You might be able to get that written in stone. <laughs> All right. Um, but then, yes, we have a relationship month here for you. And it's a little bit of a long-term thing because of Jupiter and Saturn. I like that for you, Leo, because I can see how important it is for you to establish uh, the bonds and the security uh, that you want in your relationship with your partner. You're coming forward stronger. Um, and when I say stronger, I think also what it has to do is that you are able to express what's important to you, set some liberation, some boundaries too. Um, if you've been needing to do so, this has been a good time for you to say, this works for me, this doesn't work for me, uh, but if we can do it this way, wow, we can have all of this. And that just sets the, the whole foundation for how you can see your relationship moving ahead in the long-term future. We're talking years to come. If you're getting this right, while Saturn is transiting this area for you, you will see that you can have many, many, many years to come if you now are bringing your self-worth and your goals to the table so your partner understands where your boundaries lie. Not just that you're always just going to be playful, which you are and you love to do that, but you too have your goals that you're wanting to work on and you're going to need a little room for that. Jupiter is helping you to find the right words, to scale it up, uh, trust that. But this is also a money month for you, Leo, and uh, it's not as much looking at your day-to-day, -day, or should I say week-to-week, month-to-month income. This is more your investments, what you are saving um, or investing in. Some of you might <clears throat> be moving into cryptocurrency and looking at that jazz, um, but it could be royalties and commissions, uh, maybe taxes, maybe some of you are a little late on your taxes, and then focusing on it. And it's great. Get it done this month. We have the sun, we got Venus, we got Neptune and the new moon in this area. And let me tell you the good news about having the new moon in your eighth house. Uh, you know that is the time when we visualize, right? Put our intentions out there. Your intentions on the 13th with this new moon should be a mantra of saying, my money, my savings are growing. My money, my savings are expanding. My investments are going to the right places. Look how that account has grown. So if you could do that, you could find doors that can really open up, whether it's cryptocurrencies, they're, they're so hot these days, right? Whatever it is, you can build something that can have long lasting effect uh, if we get it right. But that should be your mantra there on March 13th with that new moon. I love it because it's so creative. It's spiritual too when it's conjuncting up with Neptune. Neptune is spiritual. Neptune is creative. 
but more than anything, it's very psychic. It, it's that sixth sense. So you, you might just end up being guided to or led to. You know how it is when we hold a certain idea and suddenly we see signs everywhere. Information is coming to us. That's just synchronicity that lines up for what it is you're looking for. And in that, you might just find a certain golden door that could be good for you in that long term. And you'll love doing it too because Venus is there. So you're going to have fun. It's not like, ah, oh, I got to work all the paperwork and the money. And like, no, no, you're going to have fun. Trust me. Venus will make sure of that. Um, the full moon is on the 28th. You're going to have that in your third house for um, a short distance travel, maybe uh, more interactions with your siblings or news coming from siblings. Maybe it's just you longing to get out on the road for a short little road trip. It could just be for a day or two or whatnot. Um, but that would really uh, be good for you, right? Because it nurtures. We, we need to get out of the house. We've all been so housebound. Um, so uh, end of the month, absolutely. That, that could just be perfect. So go to your moon and rising sign. Listen to where those aspects are hitting home in those charts. And uh, take a run to my website if you're looking for a transit printout where you have all the dates uh, spilled out for you uh, and what to accept or if you're wanting a partner reading and of course since you have so many planets here in your seventh house for partnership you might want to take a look at how your charts together are jiving these days right uh, so that could be interesting for you So guys, thank you for watching this month's forecast. Make sure to smash that button and get the notification bell as well for new upcoming reports. And I will see you next month. But head to the website if you're wanting one of those special reports. You'll find the link down below in the uh, description or just right up above. See you in April.